Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here I have for you today is the high grade build divers Gira Giraga. Uh, basically it's a uh, you know, mobile suit from the build diver series and uh, one of the main antagonists of the uh, main crew. So uh, I want to go ahead and do a little pose video for y'all. So uh, like always we're going to go ahead and do three different poses to kind of give you a good idea of where you probably would like to uh, have your uh, kit posed on your shelf and maybe this can actually help out some of the other kits in your collection. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. And here is the pose. Uh, overall, I think it looks really good. Um, I like I like dashing poses, man. It's just kind of like my uh, I don't know, it's my go-to. So every time I like see a lot of kids that have that like kind of sleek design, I mean they're running. They're always dashing around, always trying to like get a uh, you know get on the flank side of the enemy or even behind them. I just think it looks pretty good. Um, so basically, what my thought process always is is uh, like I mentioned, you know, a mobile suit that has um, kind of like the idea that it has good speed uh, or you know it's like pretty agile and all that. Um, you know, I, I like it kind of dashing forward. I don't like it to be too stagnant or anything like that. Uh, but I think overall this looks pretty good. The tail is always going to be a little bit difficult to kind of pose, uh, just simply because the it has a lot of weight to it and it's only on a wire. Uh, so you're going to have to like mess with it just a little bit to get it in a a pretty functional pose. Uh, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, you know, there's not really much you can really do with this, uh, just for the fact that it doesn't have many accessories. Um, but you know, for what you get, uh, I think you know this being one of the first poses is, is definitely a good one. It's an easy go-to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the second pose. Alright, so here is the second pose. Uh, basically, the only change I did was bring up that left knee just a little bit. Um, but other than that, I wanted to keep this pretty accurate to uh, what's on the side of the box. Uh, so they actually have this pose on the side of the box, and I think it looks pretty cool to be honest. I've seen a lot of promotional pictures. Um, so yeah, I, I just overall like this pose. I think it looks pretty phenomenal. Um, you know, the tail kind of like coming in front looks pretty awesome. Uh, but I think it would look really awesome. Uh, it would look way better if it had the double O diver right in front of him. Uh, just kind of like, you know, staring up at him while this guy's like pulling off this pose. Um, I think that would be pretty fantastic. So if y'all can, um, you know, I would definitely, you know, say re uh, recreate that type of imagery if you're going to go ahead and utilize this pose. Uh, but if not, then, you know, definitely do what you need to do. Um, but yeah, I actually thoroughly like this pose. I think it looks pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and move on to the third and final pose. Here is the third and final pose. Uh, so what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I know that he has a giant cannon in the middle of his chest. Uh, so a lot of people kind of ignore that. Um, they don't really bring much light to that. So I decided to go ahead and emphasize on this pose that giant particle cannon, whatever it's called, in the, in the center of his chest. Uh, because then that, I think that's pretty cool. Like even if I was like battling this mobile suit, I wouldn't think that that has a cannon, in, you know, in the middle of his chest. I would think that, you know, it's just kind of like a clear part for the cockpit or something. Um, obviously, if I knew about this, you know, mobile suit in particular, I would I would know about that information. Uh, but if, th if this is a kit that I've never seen before in, in the middle of a battle, uh, yeah, I would just not know what the hell is going on with it. So um, that's kind of the reason I went with it, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it still looks pretty ferocious. It's just the tail, man. The tail overall gives it so much character. Um, I, I just, I love it. I absolutely love just the aesthetics. The wings look pretty badass. The tail looks amazing. And I, just the base kit is just fantastic. So, uh, but that's it for me, guys. I uh, just want to go ahead and give y'all some uh, quick little poses. And, um, you know, if y'all definitely enjoyed these pose videos, let me know in the comments below. If uh, any of these poses, one, two, or three, that you really like, let me know, uh, you know, which ones you really liked or which ones you, you know, wasn't really too fond of. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, definitely thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.